discuss analysis of word to vec and doc to vec feature selection model for sentiment analysis of twitter data on indian elections 2019 here is our proposed system when initially we start off with establishing the connection for establishing connection we create a twitter api from the twitter api which we have established and we from where we would have taken all the uh, api keys so we extract tweets of Indian politics and after extracting the tweets we do polarity classification where we classify tweets into positive and negative tweets and after polarity classification we take the classified data and we do cleaning and pre-processing in the pre-processing we collect the corpus of the collected tweets and we check if the tweets are in English now, if the tweets are in English, we convert all the tweets to lowercase, remove Twitter handles, remove punctuations, remove numbers and special characters, remove stop words, and then we normalize text data. Further which, we apply the feature selection models, which are the word to vec and doc to vec Take in the reduced dimensionality data, then perform training and testing. And after the training and tested data, we take them and apply machine learning algorithms such as random forest, SVM and logistic regression. After applying the machine learning algorithms, we compare results and the performance. And coming to the code, here we have initially taken all the library files and these are the API keys which I was talking about initially where we established connection. These are the keys obtained from the Twitter API and here what we do is uh, we search tweets using the function search twitter and we have the given the key terms as pjp plus elections so what we are doing is we are filtering the retweets where we are not taking in consideration the retweets and here we are collecting 50,000 tweets which are then stored in the csv file bjp tweets which are here here are the tweets which have been collected which you can see and the time which has taken is approximately 48 minutes and 60 seconds in order to collect all the tweets. Here we are using Jupyter Notebook. Based on the CSV file obtained, here we are splitting it into train and test and following which we are taking the top 10 negative tweets and here are the displayed top 10 negative tweets which we can see and here are the top 10 positive tweets which are which are there in the csv file and uh, what we are doing is, uh, is the train and data set we are checking where 14,000 tweets are trained and 4,685 tweets are tested following which we get the output as 9,765 tweets are positive and 4,235 tweets are negative coming down we perform data cleaning where we combine the training and the testing csv files and the to to in total we have 18,685 tweets in the csv file and here we are initially doing the pre-processing stages which are removing twitter handles and we remove punctuation number and special characters we are removing the stop words here we are performing the stemming where we are splitting the tweets into tokens and then the tokenized words are normalized and after which we combine back them together coming to the text visualization so here we have a word cloud where word cloud is nothing but the words which are most frequently occurring in the tweets so here we this word cloud is nothing but a combined word cloud which is of the entire tweets and here we come into the negative tweets word cloud where the bigger the words which we can see that is the more frequently used words and these are the negative tweets and this is for the word cloud for the positive tweets coming to the hashtags this here we can see the top 10 hashtags which are most frequently used and coming down further which we can see that the these are the Hashtags for the positive tweet. Coming to the feature selection models, here we are, we are using four feature selection models, which are bag of words, T TFIDF, word to vec, and doc to vec. So, coming down further, 
we are using them the bag of words tfidf word to vec and the doc to vec vectors and we are applying the machine learning algorithms which are logistic regression support vector machine and the random forest in order to build a model coming down further taking each machine learning algorithm that is first one we are considering logistic regression and we can see that for bag of words the accuracy we have obtained is 0.835 considering we are applying only the logistic regression into bag of words and similarly applying it to tfidf we are getting the accuracy as 0.834 and similarly to word to vec we are getting 0.835 and for doctor vec we are getting 0.819 and similarly it applies to the other alg machine learning algorithms as well such as machine vector and the random forest coming to the end here we can see the we have compared the feature selection models against the machine learning algorithms where we can see that for each of the machine learning algorithms we have compared it with each of the feature selection models and comparatively we can see that word to vec has better accuracy and uh, comparing to all the three machine learning algorithms and all the four uh, feature selection models we can see that the random forest compared with word to vec has the highest accuracy and that is our end result